Hello there everybody, if you want to add some slideshows into your Shopify store, you are in the right place. So let's begin, let's jump right into it. Alright, so first of all guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can get your Shopify store already uh, created and then you can have up to 3 months of Shopify for only 1 month when you sign up for a basic or a starter plan. That's more than enough, right? So, uh, first of all, guys, if you want to add a slideshow, I can strongly suggest to you that once you have your store already created, you want to add some product. And what I'll be doing here is to add a new product real quick so you can see how we can do this. I'm going to hit into add a product. I'm going to choose to add a name. Let's say, for example, um, example number two, right? And here's the description. I'm going to hit into example number two. And real quick, I'm just going to hit into a custom price. And here's the inventory. And then you're going to hit into safe. So once we have our third product already added, I'm going to hit back into my store. Now, oopsie daisy, I just need to change this for example number three so we can have some variation of our product. So now that we have here a product, we want to have a slideshow of what we have to offer here into Shopify. So there's two ways that we can do this. The first way, which is actually like really, really simple, is to use an application. Uh, speaking about the sale channel, the Shopify app store, this is really great. This is a really amazing feature of Shopify. So if you want to add uh, email buttons, uh, print full print of the mail, product reviews, here are the stores where we can do those uh, things without having to move one freaking finger. So in here, what I want to do is to import my keyword. So let's say slide show. Here we go. So in here is going to be appearing a lot of options. So as you can see, we have a show going landing page. We have product page slider and gallery. Here are the covered Instagram feed and reviews. So you want to find an application that appears to be free plan available because we don't want to pay for this application, right? So here, what you want to do is to hit into add application and once that is done, it's going to be asking to to make the access into our store and to edit our store. So we want to install the application real quick. And after we successfully done that, it's going to be asking for what products you want to add into our slider. So here, I want to go into the quick start guide, configuration, user description. I want to go into the menu option. And in here, what I want to do I'm going to hit into check if your theme is supported. Go to configuration and here's our uh, configuration option. So this is like the VMU preview of how it's going to be looking our slideshow, right? So what we want to do is to enable the slider into our store so we can see how it's going to be looking. So what I'm going to be doing here is to open the link of my store. So as you can see, we don't have actually anything already created. But what I want to do is to see if my slideshow has been added successfully. So as you can see, it hasn't been added yet. So what I'm going to be doing here is to go into bullets. And here I'm going to be choosing thumbs large like this. And I can configure a few colors like this. I can select a few custom colors. Uh, I'm going to be having some extra features. And as you can see, there are a few options that are paid options selected. So you, so that's the reason why you want to have an application that don't charges you absolutely anything for that. So I want to see which was the option that we selected where they need to have actually a um, a payment option, right? So once I have that, I just need to go into open life preview and review if everything is okay. If you are willing to pay for an application to help you with an amazing uh, slideshow, then you can go into the upgrade and then you are good to go. Some applications actually, they do have the free option or the premium subscription already um, added from Shopify premium plans. So you might want to look 
uh, into all those plans. But if you actually don't want to pay for anything, I will get back into my online store. This is the second way that we can do this. Actually, it's really easy as well. I just show you here the, that the application of Shopify are uh, really e easy to find and customize. But here I'm going to be choosing customize of my own store. And then what I want to do, as you can see, we have the home page section. And here's the catalog and the contact. So I want to go into the page where I want to add the slideshow. As you can see, here's the catalog. So here into the catalog, I have my product. I have a product grid. I have a collection banner and I have a footer, right? So uh, I want to add here my slideshow of only one product. So I want to go into add section and hit your key, your keyword. That would be slideshow. Here it is theme section slideshow. So as you can see here, it's tell your brand story through images. We have the bottom label and here we have an image slide. So if you want to add a specific image, you can just upload that. I'm going to be just choosing this option just to see how it's going to be looking as an example. Here's all the information that I need to provide here in the back section. And here is another image slide. So once again, I'm going to add another image step favorite let's say that i want to add all right so now that we have already added our images you can just customize here your own stuff your heading your heading size the subheading the bottom label uh let's say for example shop and into the image slide let's say cyber monday and the subheading gonna hit into up to seven percent discount all right, so now that I have all of that, what I want to choose is the color scheme. I can go into Inverse, hit into Save, and we're actually good to go. Now, if I wanted to add something else, some other image slide, I can add that in here. And after I add all my slide section, what I want to do is to go into Save and hit into the preview option so I can see how it's gonna be looking my collection section with my image slide. So I'm going to be hidden into this option so I can preview my store as a mobile. So here I have this products and here's my slide. Here as you can see, this is the button. All right, so it's kind of looking really great. I think we can customize uh, a little bit better the seconds option, but the first one actually looks to uh, professional so there you have it guys it's just, it's just a matter to customize your own store but it was really easy whether you want to choose an app store or you want to do this manually inside the editor of shopify so hopefully you guys it was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tips and tricks about this shopify uh thanks thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one